first time doing shrooms. Magic mushrooms truly are what they claim to be, magical. It's an experience you simply can't put into words. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been great. Anyway, now that the feds are gone, I'm Shay. Let's talk about my first time doing shrooms. It was 2022 and I'd gone to my homie's house. For this story, we'll call him Tall Man because he's uh, tall. The main characters in this story are me, Tall Man, Big Man, Farmer, and Plugalicious. You can probably assume they're attributes by that. But we weren't alone this night, which comes back later. Anyway, we start in Tall Man's nice ass house. The perfect setting for this trip. I've been preparing for weeks, readying my mind for what a mind-altering experience this was going to be. Mm. We got there late at night and Plugalicious pulls out these albino penis envy mushrooms, which he claimed were amazing. When it came to time to eat the little shrooms, we had a dilemma. How do you get these disgusting ass shrooms into our systems? I believe we had about two grams each. We decided on a tried and tested strategy we found online, a peanut butter jelly sandwich. We all threw these nasty little fellas into our sandwiches and forced them down our gullets. If you've ever taken shrooms, you may know that these things are nasty as fuck. Words cannot describe how bad they were, like eating rotten food. But eventually we all finished and went upstairs to watch something while we came up. It would only take maybe half an hour of tricking ourselves into thinking we were tripping until we all started to feel really funny. I could not stop smiling, which became constant throughout all of my trips. Suddenly, everything around me had a certain glow to it. I had tracers of things moving around just ever so slightly, and I felt nervous. I was stressing bad about what was to come, but I could feel it slowly wash away as I began to actually trip. It is impossible to explain how we all felt, but we were positively geeking out. As Tall Man put it, we were geeking. As we sat there and watched Smiling Friends, I felt there was nothing I could do but watch and be mesmerized by the characters. That's when I turned to Big Man and I discovered the worst trick that could ever possibly befall man. I wanted to hypnotize him. I believed in my power at that moment. And I got really close and started snapping my fingers at him, trying to mesmerize him. It worked all too well and started tweaking out everyone around me. But I couldn't stop. My newfound power was too strong and I had to hypnotize him. It was my destiny. Slowly I calmed down, as did everyone else. We sat down with the two little dogs Tom and had and spoke to them as if, as if they were going to respond. Expecting a response, but all they could do was stare confused at us. We tried for so goddamn long to make them speak to us, but they withheld their ancient knowledge. The trippy but relaxing music Tallman had put on had hit my very soul, and with every note I felt my inner consciousness trying to escape my mortal body. We sat there for hours, switching from one task to another just trying to get the most out of it. Smash Bros Ultimate was a fever dream, and I couldn't help but freeze up as I got my ass kicked. Soon we found ourselves preparing for the mirror, a must on every trip, no matter what they tell you. I was unrecognizable. I looked like a bug, and my smile stored back like it knew, and knew everything. And soon I felt myself wanting to admit things to it and give in. I understood I had nothing to say, and the reflection wouldn't know. Eventually, we looked around and realized Farmer was gone. We had lost one of our trippers, and as a group we had to find him and reclaim him from the sunken place. We found him downstairs in their big ass theater, watching a movie I've never seen. Farmer was positively melting in his seat, stuck staring with wide eyes at the screen. Before then I've never seen Howl's Moving Castle, and as we joined him at his sides we understood the pain and emotion that was going through him. Every moment captured my eyes as his Foul beast was cowering in fear and anger on the screen, and I stormed to the abyss that was his soul. When the girl came to save Hal, I felt like she was there to save us too. We had to escape the trap that the non-trippers had unknowingly set. We had to save Farmer. We ran from the room, tearing Farmer from his hell. We were all thankful that we had escaped, or else we would have become prey for the movie. 
After that, it seemed things calmed down. As I came down slowly off the shrooms, I became ferociously hungry and began to tear apart Tall Man's kitchen. I took my prize and knew it was time to pass out, leaving for the guest bedroom and falling asleep with food by my side. And that's the short story of my first time. It's very difficult to remember details because, of course, it is a lot of drugs. To this day, I've never tripped so hard. I found myself chasing that dragon still, wanting to know what my reflection wanted to tell me, needing to know the dogs understood our truce. But alas, I'd never know. Maybe one day. If you like the story, feel free to give a like and subscribe. I've got plenty more where that came from. I'm Shay, and thank you for listening.